Hi, welcome back to the Stay at Home Round Robin. And this week I've already completed my arrows and I've got them here on this quilt. And I want to tell you about something I did that was a little bit stupid and my own fault. When I first made these and I sewed all four of them together, I had already made the flying geese um, arrow part and then I made this part and I did all four and I don't know if you can see it but it's about half an inch too short on each side. I had used one and a half. The purple is one and a half and these whites were one and a half and I actually needed two and a half inches for each of these plus um, the seam allowance. And then um, once I did that it turned out just fine and I did extra quilting again this week. I outlined the arrows and again the same sort of thing that I did last week in the corner and I think the end quilting will definitely have a line going this way and this way on the quilt. Now on this one I made the arrows quite skinny and obviously this one here is too long and by this time I had my purple arrows made and I thought Hmm, I need to make them bigger. Okay, so then I made some bigger arrows and you can see they're, they're quite a bit bigger. And I separated them and had them going clockwise around the quilt. This one here, the arrow is just on each side. And if you haven't done your arrows, you can do what you want with them. Okay. That's it till next week. Bye.